Hi again, Grade 5. After investigating the reproductive systems of some animals, I will present to you now their modes of reproduction. There are two main modes of reproduction in animals. First is the sexual reproduction where the male and female parent organisms are involved. And there are two ways in which the gametes are brought together. The external fertilization and the other one is the internal. The other main mode of reproduction is the asexual. It is the formation of a new organism without using sex cells or gametes. Different kinds of asexual reproduction include budding, fragmentation, regeneration, and binary fission. In external fertilization, the only sex organs needed besides the gonads are the ducts that transport the gametes from the gonads to the water. Fertilization takes place directly in the water after each parent releases its gametes. In over 97% of fish species, the development of the embryos inside the eggs occurs outside the parent's body. Some female fish release unfertilized eggs either by laying them on plant surfaces or emitting them into the surface of water where they join the zooplankton layer. On the other hand, internal fertilization occurs within the body of the female animal. It is one characteristic of animals that live on land. It can also occur in some aquatic animals like sharks. Internal fertilization takes place when a specialized sex organ transfers the sperms from the body of the male into the body of the female.
going to the asexual reproduction, wherein animals reproduce asexually through the following ways. The first one is budding, where the parent organism splits into two unequal parts. The buds that break off and live independently or may remain attached to the parent forming a colony. Budding occurs in hydra as well as in sponges and some worms. In parthenogenesis, the growth and development of their embryos occur without fertilization by a male. Parthenogenesis occurs naturally in some invertebrates like the species of wasps, bees, and ants. Another method of asexual reproduction is through binary fission. It is observed in the microscopic organism, amoeba. Amoeba is a single-celled organism that reproduces by dividing its nucleus into two. Then, it will also get divided into two, each part receiving a separate nucleus. And thus, Two amoebae are produced from one parent organism. Always remember that God created all animals. Humans are animals, but we have special gifts, thinking and reasoning. And because of this, God entrusted animals to our care. We are stewards of his creations, so we should always show love and concern to such creations. We will deal with plants in our next meeting, grade 5. See you then!